It's insane. I've done six vlogs. We quarantined in Darwin. We're going to have a little spa day. The centrist. Where you put stuff just on oh, screen. Shit. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I get emotional, so. <laughs> Of October. Eek. It is our week six vlog this week. That's insane. I've done six vlogs and all of them are almost exactly the same because my weeks don't change that much. But yeah, we'll do a little catch up before we start this vlog because I know a lot of you guys have some questions regarding me getting home. So I did put it in the vlog that I found, I think it was the last vlog, vlog four. But I am returning home to Australia as of the 7th of November. So I actually leave this Sunday. So you guys will see me leaving Mexico at the end of this vlog. And we being Al and I head to Dubai for five days. And then from Dubai, we go straight to Sydney. We do the tw uh, 14 day, I keep saying 24. 14 day hotel quarantine in Sydney and then I'm able to fly up to Queensland, show my quarantine certificate and not have to do a double 14 day quarantine. Thank goodness. <laughs> So that is the plan thus far. Al, I haven't actually gotten him to sit down and talk to you guys about what happened, but Al had an incident with the US immigration, the customs, border security, and they detained him and turned him away from entering the US, which means that he's now joining me on my trip to get home and do the quarantine as well. But basically he got pulled up for something that happened two years ago. He was in the US. He got paid by a US company while he was in the US for online work and they considered that as him working in the US without the correct visa. So he was detained and not allowed in now for something that happened in 2019 that he was never aware of or was flagged for or never notified of. So it's a little bit crazy. I mean, we understand at the end of the day that, you know, you can't be working in the US without the right visa, but this was something that was almost out of his control. He got paid a month later for something that he was doing and it just so happened to be from a US company. So for example, Alani New, when Alani New pays me, they pay from a US company. They are a US company. So if I am in the US, US at the time that they are paying me, I could get flagged for something that I'm doing online for something that I did three months ago when I was in Australia. So it's a little bit hard, I guess, to understand how it works with social media and things that you're doing online that where you're based isn't a big part of it because it's obviously online. You could be anywhere in the world and still be doing the same work and still getting paid from a US company. It's an iffy line. And if you are someone that works on, online in social media, if you are going to the US, just make sure you have a working visa. But anyway, so that's that. We have a call with our Polo and Sage team in five minutes. Steve's just gone to the gym. He best be getting his bum back here very soon to go over some really exciting stuff for 2022. New drops, a new team, like we're bringing on new people for Apollo and Sage, which is so exciting. I really do want to keep you guys updated with what is going on with Apollo and Sage because it is consuming a lot of my life lately. And if you guys see me lacking in the vlogging department or social media, it's probably because I'm putting all my time in effort into Apollo and Sage. I almost am gonna need this quarantine to sit down and just work my little bum off. But leading up till then, I'm just gonna try and spend as much time and enjoy as much time with Steve as possible. I hope you guys enjoy this week's vlog and I will probably chat to you soon. All these leeches, now I'm not blind to it. Yeah. 
with your pain Slime me, I leave my stain Bad little bitty keep brain So my wrist on rain Ran up out the bank like it's a robbery Take care of my mommy, I know she proud of me Yeah, I want You've been caught and now you're going on YouTube. Most spoiled dog of all time. Mom just gives you these puppy massages. <laughs> Don't wink at the camera. Just because you want people to like you. Oh, you're spoiled. Guys, we didn't know. Oh, your tan does look bad in this lighting, though. Bad? Yeah, look at it. Looks red? Look at your sunburn. <laughs> Where you put, stop your sunscreen. Oh, <laughs> so now I have the reverse problem. <laughs> Damn it, I put sunscreen from here down because I, have a gol I had a golf tan. Now I have the opposite <laughs> of a golf tan. I can't seem to get it straight. Anyway, Damn. we forgot it was Hobbs birthday today. It is a Hobbs we're birthday. We're not sure what exactly we're gonna do for it. I recommended buying like a really juicy steak, cutting it up into small bites for him and letting him have that for dinner because that's what I did for Lulu for her birthday. But Hobbs isn't a real dog and he gets up, his stomach gets upset by every, he's not used to raw meat. Where's that going? To the shop. Just because he's leaving doesn't mean you have to go. Hubs. That's my walking friend. We go on walks together. He lives without me. I think he wants to take me for a walk, Mom and Dad. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? No, stay here with us. You're Come here. Son. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> right away, he's like, yeah, this is what I wanted all along. The spot right between Mom and Dad. This is all I wanted for my birthday, is it? Good morning. Steve just went for a walk with H-O-B-B. E.S. Hobbs. It was his birthday yesterday. We found out late in the afternoon, but they went on a walk and brought me back an almond and chocolate croissant. Tell me if you've ever seen one of these. It is literally almond and chocolate in one. I've never seen one anywhere except for here at Cream Cafe. Mmm. So good. This one's so crispy too. And then can I do a puppuccino? Okay. And that'll be good. Oh, you love that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hobbs. Happy birthday to you. Get it, bud. Oh, you love it? Woo! Go, 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 yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Everybody put your hands up. Bump, bump. Oh. Shut, 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 shut. Everybody. <laughs> oh, you're going to be a little, a little sugar high. 
three years old and just loves a puppuccino more than ever. Oh, you're Dad so happy. Dad of the Year award goes to uh, Stephen Ryan Cool. He's so happy. It is afternoon. I wasn't going to jump on here today at all, to be honest. I was just going to update you guys tomorrow, but I thought I would anyway. And we've also got some good news that definitely makes me feel compelled to share. But what happened was this morning I received an email from Emirates stating that the only people that can passenger their flights are vaccinated people, fully vaccinated people. And you guys know that we have struggled to get vaccinated whilst being overseas because we're considered tourists in all of the countries that we've been staying in. It just hasn't been available to us. It's available to residents and citizens, which we are not. So we haven't been able to catch any vaccination only flights home. We obviously booked our Emirates flight from Dubai to Sydney to do our quarantine in Sydney. And as of the 1st of November, they changed those rules to only vaccinated people can enter Sydney right now. Sydney and Melbourne both have these laws. However, every other state in Australia does not. So we spent all day, like I'm not even kidding, all day. It is 5.40 p.m. now. I just did a little workout and walked on the treadmill for half an hour. But yeah, we got this email at like 7 a.m. So we spent all day organizing ways in which we can get home. Uh, finally got a route home. So what's happening is we're flying over to Dubai, doing that as per usual, staying there six nights. And then we're flying from Dubai to Darwin with a stopover in Sydney. Singapore for 24 hours. So we fly Dubai to Singapore, stay in Singapore in a transit hotel because they currently aren't allowing anyone who's unvaccinated to leave the airport, which is totally fine. And then we head to Darwin the day after and we quarantine in Darwin, which I'm actually not mad about because Darwin has these little camping pod things. They're like the little, I guess, little like one bedroom bungalows with an outdoor area. And you're able to come outdoors and be on a balcony with fresh air, which is much more than what I've gotten in my past hotel quarantine. So I'm definitely not mad about the fresh air for our 14 day quarantine, but it is Darwin. It's going to be hot. It's coming into summer and yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun nonetheless. So obviously we'll be vlogging that. You guys will be able to see, but I'm very stoked. I'm very really relieved after today because I just I saw the email and I just cried I just broke down right on the spot and Steve tried to cheer me up he tried to make me feel better about the situation but I just wasn't having it so I sat there and researched the rest of the day and got something organized but yeah that is the update. We really haven't done much today. I know Steve and I are going to go out for dinner tonight, have our date night. It's Thursday, so it's a day late, but we really need it today. We've really stressed each other out this morning, just going back and forth on what our plans are, obviously what he can do. He will be returning back home on the 1st of November to the US, and I will be heading in two days to Dubai. So see how that goes. That's all I'm going to vlog for tonight. I'm not going to vlog Steve and I's dinner tonight. We just need some one-on-one -on -one time. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, sir. We've been trying to reach you in regards to your extended car warranty. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> 
Good morning. Good it's Friday, which means that we leave in two days. We oh, leave yeah. Sunday morning and we are spending the day today at Pamia, one and only. So we're staying at Pamia Dunes, which is up inland. And then the one and only is beachside of where we're staying. So we have been lucky enough to be invited here. We're going to have a little spa day, sit by the pool, have some lunch and then probably head home. So I'm very excited. It is insanely beautiful here. I'll show you obviously bits and pieces of what we get up to today, but get ready because this place is insane. I'm excited. Obviously got our COVID test done. I went to get the money out to pay for it and the bank took my card. Well, not the bank, the ATM stole my card. So I had to call up ComBank, cancel my card, get a new one, request a new one. Luckily I have my everyday personal card, not my business card. So that's what I'm gonna have to use for the next couple of weeks. And as we were driving to get our test done, there was a big cement truck that has tipped and fell and I guess dropped all the cement on one of the main roads in San Jose. Oh wow! So traffic right now, I don't know if you can see, but it is stopped completely. Almost all the way from San Jose to Cabo San Lucas, which is insane because it's, it's a good 35 minute drive and it's just backed up. So we're currently stuck at this little marqueta, which is where we got our test done. So we're going to get dinner here and it's time to have a mug. Hands down, the best passion fruit margarita I've ever had. I'm just getting lit, hey. You're just living your best life. Of <laughs> I am. Guys, this is a freaking mess. I just need to clean our windshield, because, oh my gosh, look at all those. I didn't talk you into coming. You said, I need to get a test, so I'm going to come. No. I will not accept that. What up, dog? I'm the alpha. This is our last day in Mexico. It's Friday. It's a Saturday right now. Yeah. Oh, no. it's Saturday. You gotta go back and start packing. We do. We need to just go clean the house. Just do a massive sweep. A pile of things we're leaving, clothes wise. Al, how are you feeling about returning home? Uh, 
It is literally our first trip just to get to Dubai. First flight's 11 hours, second flight's 7 hours. Far out. With oh like God. 8 hours in between. Really? That's just our you know, first part to get to Dubai. It's good though that you guys are breaking it up and stopping in Dubai for 5 days or so. It'll make yeah, it if we weren't stopping in Dubai, we, we would be screwed. We would both be a zombie. This is my favorite one of Steve's cologne. It's discontinued now. I'm not sure why, but it's literally like one of the first colognes he wore on one of our first dates two and a half years ago now. Mm. And I will forever love it, so I'm putting it on the jumper and I'm going to fold it up and wear that tomorrow when I'm traveling. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm dreading tomorrow. The more I think about it, the more I get emotional, so I'm not gonna think about it too long. But we have a nice dinner tonight at Acre, which is my favorite spot. We've been three times. You guys will know Acre by now. So we're going to enjoy that. Head to bed. Wake up nice and early and Steve's going to drop us off. So. We're we at... flew together. Yeah. Mexico, yeah. Like, yeah. Steve, we flew. We flew from Mexico to here last time. And now we're flying here to Mexico, and then Mexico to Barcelona, Barcelona to Dubai. But honestly, goodbyes suck. Al's just emotional about his goodbye to Hobbs. Me's to my other <laughs> half. It's gonna be tough. It's like all the memories we made. Oh, so many. <laughs> We literally just spent seven months in each other's pockets, even Al being in our pockets. Us it's being in Al's pockets. <laughs> it's gonna be like eight months by the time we need to I know. On our way to Mexico City, we're currently at San Jose, but I don't know, our flight is in our flight is for another hour. Alright, we have landed. Yes. Mexico City. We have four flights left over the next week. Or a little bit longer than a week. But we're one down, four to go. on our second flight to Barcelona. This one is 10 hours and then our Barcelona to Dubai is six and a half hours. So going to try and sleep on this one. We actually land at 1 p.m. and then land in Dubai at 6 a.m. So it's really going to with our time. Like our head is gonna be, we're gonna be so jet like it's not even funny, but that is our plan right now. So we're just waiting for everyone else to get sorted. And then we're going. All right, so we've landed in Barcelona. We have done two out of five flights. Three more to go. Al and I are just chilling at a little cafe. We've got the workstation set up, lots of stuff to do. But what I'm doing is pretty much planning out the next two weeks of like content stuff. So we have some pieces to film in Dubai for Broke Gymshark and Move With Us. Six nights, seven days in Dubai. So we're really going to push out that content for that. You know I'm on Struggle Street when I've got a coffee. I did ask for an iced coffee and they gave me a coffee and then ice. I think we're actually gonna wrap this vlog up now because it is currently Monday, which means we're on to the next vlog. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in two minutes.